So now what we'll do is we'll we'll look at how to add more more mortar bunkers. So what we can basically can do is just copy that recon point there. We'll put uh, say one there, and you'll notice it names it automatically with the I1 prefix, which is uh, you know good to leave that do that. So we'll put a couple down here like so. Then I'll go back to my mortar bunker code here. So basically it's going to be the same format as this one here, so I'm going to copy that and I'll put three bunkers on. So I'll put them in like that. Now they simply named I1, I2, I3 and I will make some of these US uh, idiot. Okay, so you gotta watch what you're doing. US goes there and there. Now these aren't gonna have any extra prop sets, so I'll just basically delete those. And we could add in more if we wanted. Um, and by just changing these to something like northwest, they'll and say south, just to mix it up a bit, and east, and then uh, we can basically test that. Okay, before I do test that, I'll just move my guy where he's a bit more out of the danger of being killed by them and we'll start off over here by our other bunker so we can give that a test okay so that's basically all there is really to it is it's just a case of following that that format there and um, you can add as many mortar bunks as the game can visually handle I guess in one area. Um, you can keep spreading them across the map and they'll only come in game as you enter and leave the larger trigger zone that uh, spawns in around those points that you place on the map. So yeah the other part of this though is the sat cam. Okay this basically runs on the hotkey so if you haven't got your hotkeys up and running already get them on and um, in there we earlier looked at uh, naming the player um, we have some other little settings here for example the available cluster bombs okay it's, it's currently set at three uh, napalms four and you've got JDM airstrikes uh, you can adjust them to whatever to suit your mission that's basically how many you can have um, available to the player. Okay, for anyone curious as to how that sat cam stuff with the cluster bombs might actually be happening, um, in our entity sets here we've got um, a couple of just some bomb stacks. There in entity sets, what's uh, what's happening is that uh, positions are found using that sat cam. Uh, it gets the terrain height, um, and basically it spawns in. Um, those uh, bomb stacks three meters under the ground so if I was to just quickly go through here and just change these guys to uh, change that to a plus three and that way we'll we'll fire them up and we'll see that they how they spawn in uh, there's a whole bunch of them what's basically happening is there's some uh, bit of maths going on here which uh, describes a pattern mathematically through a sequence of events um, it's enough to do your head in when you're setting this crap up okay almost done
and yet more. Oh shit, more yet. Okay, so we'll test that. Okay, so just quickly, we're just going to have a quick look at the sat cam and uh, what you can do with it. Um, basically, using your number lock, you turn off the number lock so the little light's off, and then uh, it's set up so that number five then takes you to a camera position directly above your your playable unit. And as you can see, he's pretty skinny. Okay. Now this is actually a great tool for when you're building a mission to just check on things, uh, especially if you're doing things like entering trigger zones to have things spawn in. You can move around the map and check to make sure your stuff's happening um, and really get a. It, it's a great tool for, for mission editing in general. Um, but you know, it's also fun for in a mission, for example, I'll uh, do a little napalm here on these young guys and you can see the count down there in the corner which is basically all the stuff spawning in to produce the napalm there it goes yeah it's a real shame okay it's, yeah, it's pretty excessive Okay, you've also got, of course, the cluster bomb, which is a lot faster, actually. And it's got a nice bang to it. And you've also got the JDAM. Which is uh, the little dot delete key, which takes a certain amount longer. There it is. Wonderful stuff. So we're looking at those now to see just exactly how they're spawning in. So there we go, we've got one in the middle and the rest spawn around it in a spiral pattern. And then the whole thing cascades into a nice big explosion. Now the Okay, so this is the napalm. Now there's probably more than what's actually there. They probably just can't visually render because of these visual rendering limits. So here it goes. Nice little chain reaction. And there we go. See, there's more there than what can actually physically render in visually render it. Excellent. Now one other thing which is also worth mentioning, to go over here, back to where my character is. And run up into this corner bunker. Go back into the sat cam. Now because I'm in the mortar bunker, I can actually use the zero key fire individual mortars. So there we go. They'll fire exactly where I put them. So if I find some poor guy, zoom in on him. Hello, you'll do. Don't move. Drop one right on him.
Okay. Okay. So we're over in a different spot this time. We should have a bunker spawn just here somewhere in front of us. And possibly one up there somewhere. There they are. All that. Artillery, 500 meters east. Assault! Grid zero. Engage three. Move. Grid zero. Two. Hotel. X-ray. Five. Defend. Grid okay, so zero, these guys two, are... Hotel. Rifleman. 500 meters. Okay, North all east. the stuff. Automatic for us. Over. Standing by. I am not getting paid in a fire mission. Grid. Zero. Two. Hotel. X-ray. Nine. Yankee. Four. Rounds away. Fall back. In two. Move. Grid. Zero. Two. He's Hotel. falling back. X-ray. Full. Five. Yankee. Six. Sniper. Five hundred meters northeast. Target. Rifleman is eliminated. I can okay, get a checkpoint for destroying the mortar bunker. Okay, 